Double Pitching Yeast, Frequently Asked Questions, Moonshine Life Recipes Group, Q. What happens if you overpitch yeast? Overpitching is far less of an issue than underpitching. If you exceed the pitch rate, you might wind up with an overpitched yeast. Overpitching can result in the following. A buildup of off flavors derived from diacetyl, sulfur, and fusel oil. Cloudy, hazy beverages. Meager ester production, resulting in a thin body beverage. Overpitching is irreversible, so you'll have to discard the spoilt ferment and start a fresh wash. Q. When should I pitch more yeast? Here's when to pitch more yeast. When you've underpitched. Adding more yeast will ensure a dry fermentation. When fermenting at less than desired fermentation temperatures, yeast is temperamental. Temperatures below. Ideal. Fermentation slow down the yeast's ability to grow and ferment the wash till it reaches your desired final gravity target. When you have a stuck fermentation, adding more yeast ensures you add some nutrients to feed the second yeast. When co-pitching, if you desire to create a fun-flavored drink, you should add a strain with your preferred flavor profile. Q. How many times can you repitch yeast? There's really no limit but you'll be expending a lot of time and money for possibly not much gain. We recommend you repitch yeast three to five more times before it loses its effect. Anything more than this, and you're most likely to get a lot of bacterial load, a slow fermentation, and off flavors. But experimentation is the name of the game. If you reuse yeast up to five times and are happy with the results, you'll know where your preferred range is. Cheers. Moonshine Life Recipes Group.